All right, you know, if I would not, like, fuck around and try to do stuff in the background while I'm trying to record videos, that would probably be a good idea. So, because I'm a fucking idiot. Um, so, take two. But what's up, everyone? Fabio here, back once again with another Dolphathon review, Dolph Lundgren review. And today, unfortunately, I have to talk about Diamond Dogs. Yeah, this movie's not good. This is not a good movie. I would even go as so far to say that this is one of Dolph's worst movies, in my opinion. That's just me. But we will talk all about the disaster that is this movie, whether it's the actual film content or what happened behind the scenes, which is worse than the movie itself, um, in the course of this video. But before I go any further, as usual, if anyone would like to help contribute to the channel by sending in a paid request, you may do so. Down below in the description box, there is a link to my PayPal account. No amount is too big, no amount is too small, it does not have to be just a movie review, it could be a TV series, cartoon, comic book, video game, music, random thoughts, rants, streams, commentaries, and anything in between. That's what the paid request is set up for. So again, if you're interested, go ahead, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. And for those that have sent them in before, Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. It means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel and you want to see me try some different things. It does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel. I keep making them and at the end of the day everyone goes home happy just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So thank you. But fucking diamond dogs. Now Back when I first started here on YouTube, I did review a bunch of Dolph movies, and a couple of people have pointed out, they said that in your older review, you said you like this, but in this one, you don't like it anymore. Well, ladies and gentlemen, opinions can change, so there's that. Um, I don't remember if I like this or not. I did not remember anything from this movie, and re-watching it now, I try not to remember it, because this movie is just so fucking bad. This movie's terrible. Um... I don't think I saw this when it first came out. I know for a fact that I picked it up because the sticker is still on the back there. I bought this from a video store that is where my cousins live. Well, it used to be. It's, it's not there anymore. But it used to be where my cousins live. And I used to, like, when I would go see them, we would go there all the time. And I would always buy, you know, whatever the guy was selling, whether it was VHS or DVD. Um, and I typically found a lot of good stuff there over the years like i found street night and deadly outbreak with jeff speakman on vhs i got them for like a dollar a piece um i found a bunch of the ninja turtles 2003 tapes there i found some power ranger stuff there uh no retreat no surrender 2 i found there um a bunch of stuff over the years i found a bunch of stuff there um, through the various collection updates, you can keep track of that. And then, of course, you would always find a, a dud every once in a while, such as this. So, there's that. But, um, yeah, again, that older review that I did, I might have liked this film. I may not have, but I know for one thing's for fucking sure now, I don't like this movie now. So, fucking Diamond Dogs. Now... The behind-the-scenes on this movie is way more interesting than the movie itself, so we'll get to the plot first, and then we'll get to the meat and potatoes. So the plot of the film is Dolph Lundgren is this, like, mercenary that's down on his luck in, I think he's in Mongolia, yeah, and he gets hired to lead this group of treasure hunters to find this Buddhist artifact that's supposedly cursed and all this shit, and then, of course, it had to be the Russians, so there's Russian mercenaries after them, and basically Dolph has to become Indiana Jones and get this relic and all this other bullshit. So, you've seen this movie before, you've seen this movie since, this movie fucking sucks, so let's get that out of the way. Dolph, for, I understand that this was a very difficult movie to make. From reading online... It seemed like no one knew what they were doing. It seemed like these people had the money and an idea to make a movie, but they had no clue how to make a movie. So Dolph got caught in the middle of it. Um, this is a bad performance from him. I'm not going to lie. 
Uh, typically, I kind of give Dolph a pass in, in certain situations because I think he's one of those people, like a lot of actors, where if the movie's bad, he tries to make the best of it. He tries to do the best job that he could. But I think with this movie, he just didn't give a fuck. And I understand why. So, you know, he does. He looks like he doesn't want to be there. The rest of the cast sucks. Um, the lady from Expendables 2 is in this, um, Yunnan. They try to hook her and Dolph up. It doesn't really work. The tone is really inconsistent with this movie. Uh, it's shifting a lot of different ways. You know, like there will be some scenes where she's normal and then they have her dressed up like in the traditional Chinese clothing for no reason. And it just goes back and forth way too much. Um, this movie was very poorly shot. It looks like a fucking a student film. It looks like something that I would turn in for school. Um, actually, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I think that I can do a better job than them. And I don't have a fucking budget. There's way too many close-ups during the action sequences. They, There is some decent fight choreography. Like, this is one of the doll films from this time period where they let him do some more martial arts, which kind of, they forgot that Dolph was a martial artist for a while. But it's ruined by the shitty cinematography. There's way too many close-ups. You can't fucking see what's going on. In a lot of the shootouts, everything is zoomed in. They probably shot these on, like, the camera that I have for school. Um, they definitely shot it at a really high ISO because the movie is super, super fucking grainy. The lighting sucks. Um, again, these people had no idea how to make a movie. I think they had the money and they had the idea and they got Dolph involved and they knew people would buy it because Dolph was in there and it fucking sucks. And it, there's no other way that I could, that I could label this movie. It fucking sucks. It's awful. And again, it's, it was a, from what I was reading, it was a very difficult movie to make because no one knew what they were doing. The original director got fired. Uh, Samuel Dohaska, even though he's credited. The producer, uh, Simon Dotan, tried to take over. That didn't happen. So Dolph had to direct the movie, and Dolph didn't even get credit for it. So he had to step in and direct pretty much the whole movie because the original director got fired like five days into the film. And then Dolph did his own cut. That never got released. The version that got released is the producer's cut. So, yeah. And honestly, not to sound negative or whatever, but I think that this movie was only made for the Chinese market before that was a thing, before every single movie that came out was made specifically for the Chinese market, even though China hates what's in these movies and is banning these movies left and right. But, yeah, I think, honestly, that this was made specifically for China. It's a Canadian-Chinese production, so... I guess they funneled the money in somehow, and then they got Dolph involved. Um, I don't know why I had like a twang there to my voice. Even though I live up here in the north, everybody thinks that they're from the south, even though we live in Pennsylvania. Anyway, um, I, I guess, you know, they gave Dolph a good paycheck, and he said, I'll do it. You know, I don't know. But, yes, I think that, honestly, this movie was made specifically for the Chinese market, and you know, before that was a thing. That's just my opinion. I know people get really butt hurt when I talk about things like that, but it is true. I only speak facts on here. I only speak reality. I'm sorry that some people don't live in that world, but I do. I hate to burst your bubble, but get over it. So yeah, they, for whatever fucking reason, even before the movie came out, they wanted to make like a franchise off of this. They wanted to make a trilogy and Dolph said no because of how chaotic everything was. And I don't blame him at all. Um, yeah, this is definitely easily one of his worst films. You know, these people had no clue what they were doing. It, it looks like a bad student film. It's way too bright, which is why the I, which is why the movie is so grainy because ISO controls the grain. So they used either all natural lighting or they pumped the fucking studio lights up all the way. So whatever. And then, you know, they made the movie fucking grainy as shit and the lighting sucks. So again, they either use all natural lighting 
I'm sorry, they would have to use low light if the ISO was... See, I'm just so fucking pissed off about this movie that I can't even get my thoughts out straight. I'm confusing my damn self. And then the fact that I had to fucking do take two... Well, you know what? It made it, it made it an even better rant. So you know what? It fucking worked out the way that it needed it to. But fuck this movie. I will never watch this movie again. I never plan on it, you know... I picked it up because it was like four bucks, and I'm like, well, Dolph's in it, but this movie sucks. These people had no fucking clue what they were doing. And I get why Dolph would pull out of the trilogy idea. And again, he's just bored. He looks like he doesn't want to be there. The fact that he had to step in and direct the movie when he didn't intend to probably didn't help matters. And then they didn't even release the cut that he made. And I have no... In well, honestly... I, if, it, if Dolph's cut were to come out somehow, I would probably watch it to see his cut. But that's it. Because he's the one that put it together. That would be the only reason why I would ever watch this again. If the Dolph version actually got released. Release the Dolph cut. There you go. So fuck this movie. 11 minutes is too long for this. I will never ever watch this piece of shit again. I don't encourage any of you to watch it either. Fuck it. So there you go. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed my rant on Diamond Dogs. Next up, we will review a movie that is actually, you know, one that I like. I know people don't like this movie, but I do. But it is Missionary Man, which is another film that Dolph actually directed and got credited for. So there you go. But until then, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. And we will talk later. See you.